Hello and welcome to the OXM Wishlist. Our game this week is Splinter Cell Blacklist from Ubisoft Montreal. Ubisoft has already taken care of one of our big wishes for Splinter Cell Blacklist, which is that they've brought back Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow's Spies vs Mercs mode, which was kind of the original asymmetrical multiplayer mode on console. Now that you've brought it back, Ubisoft, one thing must happen, which is that you stick with the first person versus third person viewpoint. I think that was crucial to that mode, and whatever else you do with it, and presumably you're going to do a whole lot of things with it, that has to stay. Something else we'd like to see is more gizmos. And by gizmos, I don't just mean a new laser sight for your rifle or a, an extended mag magazine for your rifle. I mean something kind of creative which actually allows you to tackle the stealth sandbox in a different kind of way. Now we've seen this kind of crawling robot thing which I think is used for reconnaissance in uh, some of the trailers. That sounds great, more in that vein and keep classic gizmos like the uh, snake cam which allows you to see around the doors. Obviously we want to see stealth in the new Splinter Cell, but I think we want to see stealth with psychology, with depth. We don't want to see the kind of classic kind of stealth where basically once you get an enemy's attention, they'll come over, they'll look for you for about 30 seconds, and then they'll go back to their patrol paths. We want to see something more similar to Batman Arkham Asylum, for instance, where the enemies actually change their behaviour as you go on. They get more rattled, they start to make mistakes, they start to get jumpy. We want to see something in that vein, because that means that we can actually adapt our playstyle as we go on. Last but not least, Ubisoft's Jade Raymond suggested that uh, the kind of asynchronous online features you'd see in a game like Dark Souls could be important, not just to Splinter Cell, but to other kind of Ubisoft stealth action franchises. With that in mind, I'd just like to say, Jade, make sure they're not the kind of cosmetic notification style stuff that you get in sort of slightly less adventurous takes on that idea. Make it important to the gameplay somehow, as you'd find in, say, Dragon's Dogma, where you don't actually have to engage with other players directly, but you're still making a contribution to this large and colourful community. So that's what we want to see from Splinter Cell Blacklist. In brief, more stealth, more gizmos, more smarts. Thank you Ubisoft, make it so.